I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet this raspberry stitch. Now this raspberry stitch is a stitch that I found in one of my vintage crochet books. It is a very light, subtly textured stitch. It is easy to work. It creates near solid fabric that is the same on both sides. If you've used this stitch before in a project, I'd love to hear how. You can uh, drop a comment there in the comments below and, uh, and let us know. Today for this tutorial, I'm going to be using a five millimeter crochet hook as well as some cotton Aran yarn by Paintbox Yarns. And you'll find links to both of these items in the description of this video. Also in the description of the video, you'll find a direct link to the free written and crochet pattern uh, and photo tutorial that's on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, while you're here, don't forget to subscribe. Take a look around. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. Our pattern today is worked in rows. So you're going to start by making a slip knot and then make a foundation chain. Your foundation chain can have any even number of stitches. So today I'm going to chain 20. Once you have an even number of chain stitches worked, you're going to begin row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook. So count in one, two, and then a single crochet in each stitch all the way down to the end of your foundation chain. At the end of this row, you can chain one and turn your work. Chain one and turn your work at the end of your row one. You're then going to begin row two by working a single crochet into that first stitch. Your chain one does not count as a stitch. You're then going to work a front post single crochet around the post of the next stitch. So bringing your hook in front of your work to work your front post single crochet, you're going to insert your hook from front through to back, out through the front again, around the post of the next single crochet stitch. Yarn over, draw up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both loops. That's your front post single crochet. You're then going to work a single crochet into the next stitch and then repeat front post single crochet around the post of the next stitch and single crochet into your next stitch. Repeat that all the way across where you're going to finish with a single crochet stitch in the top of your final stitch. This is what your work should look like at the end of row two. Chain one and turn your work. For row three, you're going to begin by working a single crochet into the first sit stitch and a single crochet into your second stitch. Now working around the post of the next stitch, work a front post single crochet. Single crochet into the next stitch and front post single crochet into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way down. Single crochet into the next stitch, 
front post single crochet into the next. You're going to repeat that to your final two stitches where you will work a single crochet in each of your final two stitches. Here at the end of my row three, single crochet in each of the final two stitches, chain one, and turn your work. Now as far as the pattern repeat is concerned, that is it. For the rest of the pattern, you're going to simply repeat your rows two and your rows three. So your row two started with a single crochet in the first stitch, followed by a front post, single crochet in the next, and then repeat, single crochet in the next, and front post, single crochet in the next. You do that all the way down, chain one, turn your work, and then you're going to repeat that row three again, which was a single crochet in each of the first two stitches, and then you're alternating front post single crochets and single crochet stitches. That's all there is to working this raspberry stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, once again, I invite you to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again next week for another stitch tutorial. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.